Now what we have here today is a older Aaron's uh, Briggs powered uh, lawn tractor here, or lawn mower, riding lawn mower. And was running and then the next week it did not run. And as you can see down here, took the air filter off and everything, it is filled with fuel. And the, the uh, float uh, needle valve is leaking and it poured all the gasoline into the crankcase. And as you can see, if I pull this up, it is just filled with fuel. And we're going to go ahead and drain that and then uh, replace the needle and seat on the carburetor. To get the right parts, what you want to do on the front of this Briggs & Stratton here, you're going to need to uh, take a picture of the uh, model number and the type and go ahead and uh, that's how you'll look up the parts for it. Okay, so I uh, removed this top uh, air cleaner cover here. And next what I'm going to do is uh, try these tabs up here on the muffler. Take this muffler off so I can unbolt the uh, carburetor uh, from the engine. One bolt on the front of the muffler there and then it'll just simply pull out and we're going to take these two bolts off here. I'm going to take this fuel line here and uh, take and pull that back. throttle linkage and then there's the little governor here kind of a little hokey setup here we'll go ahead and uh, unhook that so what I'm going to do is take the fuel line off here hold that up in the air because there's no shut off on it and I'm going to put a locking pliers on there so it don't fall over. Okay, so there's one bolt on the bottom here. This one happens to have an adjustable jet on it. But uh, you take that off, the bolt comes off, and then there is one pin here you want to take out. And what you want to do is make sure that your float doesn't have anything in it. So take this pin out of here. And we need a needle and seat for this. Um, or you could purchase a new carburetor, but they're like $40. And the seat is down inside here. We'll need to replace that. Okay, I went and I uh, purchased a new needle and seat. It consists of this little seat here, um, a little clip that will uh, clip your little needle valve here to the uh, carburetor float. And so, how we get this out of here, we're going to uh, since this one has got a like little dirt in there, um, we need a one quarter uh, by 20 threads per inch tap. We're going to go ahead and tap a, a hole in here, uh, tap some threads in there, and then we're going to take a bolt here and a little collar. I'll give you some measurements on that and a nut. We'll thread that in there 
and then we'll keep turning this nut here and as we turn this nut it will pull that seat out of there. I'll get you some measurements on that. So what I have is a bolt that is uh, two inches long and the threads go almost all the way to the top there and my little collar here is about seven eighths of an inch and what you want to do is make sure that whatever you have for a collar can fit over the top of that and then rest on this little area here this happens to be a wrist pin from some other type engine I believe and I just cut it down maybe it's a weed eater shaft bearing or something like that this just fits in there just perfect so that well our old one will pull up through there okay now that I got those threads in there I will place this collar over that I will go ahead with my little nut backed off there go ahead and thread this in make sure that's lined up pretty well over the uh, the carburetor body there and then I just keep tightening this this bolt here or this nut and it'll draw that out of there it'll be a little tight at first and then once it starts moving it'll come out really easy I'll just uh, go ahead back that off of there okay our next little tool to insert our new uh, seat here has to all I did was took a bolt like this and uh, put a couple nuts on there and ground all the threads off of it and we're going to use this to drive it in and you want to make sure that it is three eighths of an inch or a little bit less because what you don't want to do is uh, have it bottom out here and then uh, destroy your little uh, seat on there um, this is the old one obviously but you don't want to uh, destroy your seat so you want to have all the threads ground off and we'll use this to go ahead and drive it in there so what we'll do is on the carburetor here we'll uh, we can leave this rod in here and now uh, what we'll do is rest it on here and here take our new seat place it in there put this on top and then uh, take a hammer and then drive that flush okay so that's down there flush like the other one was there are some models where it still is a little bit proud you want to make sure uh, that you don't drive those in too far uh, because it won't uh, seal right and now we'll go ahead and put our float with our new needle in there and then we're going to check our float here uh, from side to side make sure that it is level that it's not tilted up or tilted down okay so our little uh, clip here we have our new needle valve here as you can see it has a little clip clips right on in there then we'll go ahead and we'll insert the rubber tip down obviously and uh, we'll go ahead and slide our float 
her on our float first here. See on the little tab there, we'll go ahead and uh, put that on there. I will go ahead and insert it. Take our pin. that all the way through. Now we'll want to uh, go ahead and hold our float up to see if it's level or not. And if it's not, we'll go ahead and adjust on the back here. We'll adjust that little bitty uh, brass thing that you can see sticking down there. And if it's plastic, if you have a plastic float, this one actually looks pretty darn good. If it is a plastic float, you're going to have to uh, heat it up a little bit and then bend it and then uh, try to cool it down to keep it to hold its shape. Obviously you don't want to heat it up around any open gasoline and uh, you don't want to put a flame on there. You would want to probably use a like a hair dryer or a uh, heat gun to do that. So now we'll uh, make sure that this is cleaned out and then we'll go ahead and put this on the back here. Put our gasket on there and our main jet. One thing I uh, failed to mention earlier is there is a little gasket that is right here and it fits into a little groove. You want to make sure that it is uh, in good shape before you put it back together, otherwise it will leak fuel. Okay, you just want to uh, tighten that main jet thing up there just a little over snug. Okay, now it's time to uh, reassemble the uh, engine here and we'll uh, go ahead, we'll uh, place the carburetor on there, hook up the governor and the uh, throttle linkage and then we'll put the uh, muffler on. Okay, we'll uh, knock these uh, locking things down here on the bolts so they don't back out. Although this does have a fuel line here, I, uh, it's pretty old so uh, I'm not uh, too trusting of it. So I bought a inline fuel line here. The part number is 698-183. Uh, this happens to be a Briggs one. They also make like aftermarket ones that uh, most likely come from China and they are not very reliable. Uh, a lot of those leak so you're essentially wasting your money. You shouldn't even put one on if it's going to leak. So uh, this is just an extra precaution here. We'll just uh, go ahead and throw that on in line with the uh, fuel here and uh, when we're done running it We'll turn it off. Uh, if we forget, we got the new needle and seat, but it's just an extra safety precaution there. We have that fuel line there. Uh, that is on. That is off. And we can open this one up here. Go ahead and I'll put this on here. And then we'll put the uh, flywheel housing on. Fill it up with some uh, fresh oil there and uh, we're ready to give her a shot. Okay, we'll put this little uh, clip on here that holds that on and bring that down. After that we'll fill her up with some oil and some, put some fresh fuel in there and she should be good to go. 
Okay, looking straight down in here, this is all dry. That was filled up with fuel before. And it was running through the oil breather and filled the crankcase up. And it looks dry, so I think we're all ready to go. I filled her up with oil and we can uh, put the air filter on and fire it up.